So this is Melody and today we're gonna do an unhaul video. This is not the kind of video I typically do but I know that I sometimes enjoy watching these and other people sometimes do and I'm doing it anyway so I figured well, why not make a video. So I'll show some video clips of me cleaning out my bookshelf and my closet. I think I might have accidentally deleted some footage of the bookshelf. Oops. So um, let's just start with the books. These are books I'm unhauling because I've had them for a long time and haven't read them or I read them and they're just or like read the back and it's just not something that I want to read. So this was actually something that I got as an advanced reading copy. It was a free book and it was a surprise book but I've had it for a year or two now. And I know it's not a long time, but just reading the back of it, it just doesn't sound like something that I would read. It could be a really amazing book, but just doesn't seem like it's something for me. Then there's these two, which I bought at a point in my life where I was really into historical fiction romance, and I just don't really read that much anymore. I, I think lately I've been reading more fantasy and stuff. So this is, doesn't really fall into the category that I've been reading. Yes, it's possible that I could go back to these at some point, but I think I've had these for a good 5-10 years and have not picked them up. So I think it's just time to say goodbye. And there's a point at which it's just sitting on my bookshelf for so long that it gives me anxiety because I feel like I need to read these books, but I just, I'm not in the mood to, and I don't know that I'll ever be in the mood to if I haven't been in the mood to read them for the last 5-10 years. The last one was this one, which again is one that it could be a good book, I just reading it, it's just not the kind of thing that I feel like reading right now, and I've again had it for a while. This was gifted to me, so I feel bad giving it up, but I think sometimes you just have to do that. And um, we do have a little like library thing down in my apartment in the mailroom where people can put books that they don't want anymore and other people can just take them. So I'll probably take all these books down there. So then we'll get onto the clothes. I am throwing some clothes away and then I am donating some clothes. The clothes that I'm throwing away are clothes that have stains or holes or just are kind of unwearable and I don't know why I kept them so long or like really old socks. Nobody wants those. And the things that I'm donating are still in good condition, but I just haven't worn in a long time. So I figured it was time to give them up. So let's go to the ones that I'm tossing first. I'm going to have to shove these back in the bags afterwards. So the first thing is I have a few undershirts and they're just really old and worn. The fabric's getting thin. I bought other ones to replace them because they are something I wear all the time. Then I just, like I said, I have socks. So I had a couple socks that don't have matches anymore. So I'm finally throwing those away. Some that are so thin they feel like they're about to have holes in them or they do have holes. Um, this sports bra, that's just really old. Another undershirt. So I'm giving away, or throwing away this pair of jeans and a couple other pairs of jeans. Because as you can see, it has like... Yeah, you sure focus in here. It has um, like these stretch, I don't know if you can tell the camera, but like it's just stretched out. It's stretched out and the fabric's getting really thin. And they're starting to get loose on me probably because they were stretched out so I felt like they just didn't fit very well and so I kind of avoided wearing them anyway. So then there's another pair of jeans. Again, these ones aren't really that stretched out but the crotch on them is just kind of awkward. Um, and then also it's starting to get really worn in the crotch and I was kind of scared that at some point I would get a hole. Another pair of jeans, again with this kind of the same problem where it's just the fabric's getting thin and stretching and it's just not that attractive. Another pair of jeans, but this pair has a stain and I could not for the life of me get it out. I don't know how visible it is on camera. But I just, I tried to get out a number of ways and it just, it would not. So we're getting rid of them. All of these jeans, I think the shortest amount of time that I had any one of these pairs of jeans is 
three or four years. And one of the pairs I think I've had for like five. So they've gotten a lot of good use. I'm not throwing away perfectly good jeans. And then I'm tossing this. As much as I love it, there is a stain. And I just, I have several other crew neck sweaters. So I really just haven't been wearing this one much. And then there's this shirt. It's just getting kind of dingy and worn. There's a stain on it somewhere, but I don't remember where. I always find it when I go to put it on. So that's, oh yeah, and then this belt, which is like, it's honestly falling apart. You can see this. I don't know why I held on to it for so long. It really needed to just be thrown away. I am donating more stuff than I am giving away, or that I am throwing away. So that's good. This is just stuff that I've had for a while, but not worn. Things I haven't worn in like a year or just typically don't wear. So this, I really, really loved this shirt. Um, I just really haven't been wearing it, so I'm getting rid of it. Same with this one. And I think the thing is, I live in Washington where it's really cold. So I just short sleeve shirts don't get worn that much, but even in the summer, I really wasn't wearing it. Then there's this dress. I don't know how you can see it, but it's one of those ones from Old Navy that's just like, it's a really soft fabric and it's nice and flowy, but the only time I ever wore it was the 4th of July and I feel like I can find something better that's more flattering. There's this pencil skirt. Um, and it's a really soft, like stretchy fabric. So I feel like it's more prone to show underwear lines, which isn't great. And I have two other really nice pencil skirts. One's black and one's like an olive green. And I wear those all the time. This I have not worn in forever. <laughs> then we have this jean vest, which I actually got in the kids section because my church used to do, I say used to, because I don't think they did it last year. Um, what they call Roundup Sunday. So there's like a chili cook-off and the kids ride ponies and everybody dresses up. I think we did it, but not like in a dressing up way. So I haven't been wearing this because that was the only reason I bought this. So I'm just giving that away. Then there's this dress. It's an okay dress. Sorry if it's hard to see, but this cinches, not like super tight, but it cinches in such a way that when you raise your arms, it like gets stuck on my rib cage and then I'm like constantly having to pull it down. So it's just a little bit awkward. So I haven't been wearing it. We're also getting rid of this dress and I honestly really love this dress and I'm sad to give it away, but it's just, it's really short. So I feel self-conscious wearing it. Um, I have wide hips and I'm well endowed in that area. So anything that's like a short skirt or dress kind of scares me because I'm always scared I'm gonna bend over and expose myself. And we have another dress like that red and white one. And I wore, I got a lot of use out of this one. I just feel like it's not the kind of thing that I've been wearing lately. And I haven't worn it in a really long time. It's just one of those things that I never go to to wear. It's more of a last resort kind of thing. And um, in true Marie Kondo fashion, if it doesn't bring me joy, I'm getting rid of it. Again, a polo shirt. I think I actually use this for a cosplay. Have not worn it since. So I'm also getting rid of these jeans. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just not very flattering. Um, they're like, they're just a little bit loose on the hips and it's just not my favorite. Same with these ones. I think they just come down to a weird part of my leg and I have thicker thighs, not like thick thighs, but you know, um, it's just, it's just, it hits at an awkward spot. So I'm also getting rid of a couple t-shirts that in all honesty are perfectly fine. I just haven't worn in so long and I have a lot of t-shirts. So I figure I'll get rid of at least two. There's this one. I don't even know if I've ever worn this. Maybe I wore it once, um, but that's it. And then there's this one and I'm getting rid of these ones because not only have I not worn them in a while, I have gotten a lot of use out of this one, but I just, I don't wear a lot of bright colors or not like flashy bright red. So I figure like these are the two that kind of stand out to me that aren't, just don't meld with the rest of my wardrobe, I guess. 
next and the last thing is this pair of sweats so I really don't wear sweats around the house I have one pair that I'm holding on to and it's my nine and three quarter platform um, Harry Potter ones and they're a thicker fabric but I just I don't really wear sweats because when I'm around the house um, I like to stay warm by having my soft fuzzy robe on or a soft fuzzy blanket just because I like the feel of the softness on my skin so even in the winter I wear a lot of shorts and then I just cozy up with the blanket so it's just not something I wear much unless I were to go camping in which case I grab the thicker ones because they're gonna keep me warmer so that is it for this unhaul let me know if you liked this video if this is something you'd like to see more of um I don't think I really have anything else at, in my place that I can unhaul unless like I do a, just a general random unhaul. Maybe some art supplies, but I don't have a lot of art supplies I want to get rid of. I think that's where I'm really bad about hoarding. Even books really I'm bad about hoarding. Anyway, enough of me rambling. That is the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!